Hello, this is Mike. In this screencast, I want to think about one of the most important aspects of strategic planning, whether we're talking about this in a social media context or not. Goal setting and strategy formulation. In terms of the social media planning cycle, we begin with listening and audience analysis, but really the conversations we've been listening to should drive a strategic plan that's aligned to our overall corporate objectives. So it's this stage in the cycle that I want to think about in this screencast. Formulating our goals and having strategic, what I like to think of as calls of action, things to galvanize the organization along its route. So these are the three things I want to pick up on. The types of objectives we might set for our organization through its social media plan. Uh, I want to introduce the idea of the eight C's of strategic goal setting, a very common framework in the social media industry. And think about how we get from those goals to actionables. In other words, if you set up a route, how do you actually start the journey? Let's begin by thinking about objectives and what social media can actually be used for. There are five very common objectives that a social media strategy might be developed to achieve. This is not all encompassing, but these are just five general themes from me. Credibility and reputation building is one. Identifying converting prospects. A strategy could be aligned towards networking talent recruitment and retention, and perhaps the most obvious, customer or brand management. In terms of credibility building, the goal might be to try to attract attention to ourselves. Um, this could lead to, uh, for example, for a consultant seeking to build a social media presence, it might lead to something like speaking, writing, media engagements, something that allows them to demonstrate knowledge become a seen as an expert or a thought leader. And from that may follow pool marketing, new business uh, coming to us because of the perception we've projected about ourselves. So it could be about that. It could be about going out and looking for the customers in a more proactive way, identifying and converting them. So we might be wanting to get a message across that presents us to key stakeholders such as our customers in a particular way. We might be wanting to get to know people through their own spaces and networks in order to identify who might be converted or how we might better retain a client. So it could be about prospect conversion. It could be that we have broader aims that surround networking. We might want to deepen relationships we have or broaden them in some way. We may want to find new types of relationships. Perhaps it's the reverse. Some people are coming to us and we're deciding, well, we need a strategy for managing this type of interaction with this new type of stakeholder. So it could be all about promoting ourselves or just simply supporting others with the knock-on business benefits that could bring. So it could all be about networking. It might be about recruiting or retaining talent. I know a restaurant chain in Canada that found it very difficult to recruit reliable staff and retain them. So they produced a fantastic Facebook presence showing what a fun place to work it was and all of the benefits of being an employee there, the, the social elements more than the financial because it's a particularly low paid industry. So it could be about promoting an organizational cost, uh, you know, culture in a professional services agency. It might be about come on, become part of this body of expertise that's widely regarded in the industry. Uh, it could be about promoting commitment to, uh, to individuals we've already employed and want to retain. It could be about giving them opportunities to express their individualism, their innovation, position themselves within uh, a body of expertise. 
And finally, it could be about customer or brand management. The two go together really anyway. It could be about getting to know people and organizations that we want to do business with, finding new ways to promote loyalty perhaps, and develop, build our brand image that way. It could be about uh, trying to enhance perceptions of us, you know, just change the So all of these different things might be realistic strategic goals to follow. Credibility building, prospect conversion, networking, talent management, and customer and or brand management. From that point onwards, those objectives need to be turned into specific strategic goals. In other words, what do we want the outcome to be? And the eight C's is one commonly used framework. It's about categorizing, comprehending, conversing, collaborating. It's about contributing, connecting, community building, and converting. So let's think about the eight C's of strategic goal setting very briefly. Categorizing is about a process where we set goals by ranking social media channels in terms of their target richness. In other words, which channels have the audience segments we most want to connect with and what's the likely ROI going to be, return on investment. Goals can be set through a comprehension process. Uh, it might be about understanding how people act and behave and talk to each other within a particular network. That can then help us craft messages that will achieve the desired outcome in an appropriate style. So it might be the, the style of conversation that's a goal. It could be a process of conversing. We might want to engage in dialogue with key stakeholders. Uh, build up a relationship that's conversational and that will help us plan our strategy. It could be about fostering a sense of collaboration, you know, developing relationships, projecting a, an image of trust or reliability or integrity about a brand. Uh, it could be putting a personal face on the organization, like Richard Branson with Virgin, for example. This could help us formulate strategy too. It could be about contribution. Again, you know, contribute to a knowledge base, engage in thought leadership so that we can actually drive the process along towards our goal. Uh, it could be about establishing connections, relationships with other key influencers. If you're in the motor industry, yeah, you want to influence customers, but the people who review your cars, uh, well, they're very important in the marketing process too. So it may be our strategic uh, formulation needs to think about who the main movers and shakers are at the moment. It can be about creating a sense of community to develop uh, our brand communications, um, identifying current and future advocates, for instance. And it could be a conversion process in itself. It could be about engaging in a strategic way so we can measure things and, and predict the likely impact on our revenues or our market share, for instance. So if the, if the initial uh, five reasons are our goals, think of the eight C's as the activities we have to engage in to plan the route to those goals. Um, so the outcome here will be we have clear objectives and a set of activities in place to help us plan the route to those goals. However, if we want to start the engine and begin this journey, those goals need to be associated with particular courses of action. I like to think of these as more calls to action, get up and do this, let's go, we're going to get to moving here. We have our goals, they're the aspirations that we want to achieve. We have, through the eight C's, engaged in a, a series of processes that have helped us develop the route. Now we want to start the whole process going by having a specific do this now uh, command to ourselves uh, to set the whole process underway. So here's just three examples for me. 
if we have set a strategic goal of where we're going to have a uh, blog to help us generate new leads, um, and that blog might have a series of webinars associated with it, then you know, setting a specific target, we want 4,000 new webinar signups a year, would be the call to action. It's, it makes it much more specific, you see. Uh, if we want to build reputation, for example, in an industry, well, maybe the number of likes on our Facebook page or tweets that we receive or retweets could be the metric we use. So it, it's a specific thing, right, get more tweets. That would be the call to action to help us build our reputation. And if it we're interested in using a new channel, a Google Plus page or community, for example, for generating sales, well, maybe new people are signing up to and subscribing to our community could be the call to action. Okay, find us 400 new subscribers next month. So the strategic goals are what we want to achieve. The eight C's are the processes that help us plan the route. The calls to action are the carrots at the end. The specific commands are, okay, do these things and it will achieve the goal. Get this number of webinars and we'll achieve the goal. So think about that whenever you're planning a social media enterprise. So what's setting strategic goals all about? It's about being clear what our objectives are. It's about using the eight C's to flesh out the goal and plan the route. And it's about using the strategic action as the catalyst, the call to arms, the thing that will help us enter the social media battlefield. Thank you.